I'm here with Cheryl Holtz, and Cheryl is bringing us a beautiful night sky. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Thank and you. you said it's made with alcohol ink? Yes, I'm going to be working with alcohol ink and um, some acrylic sprays um, on opaque white craft film. Cool, let's do it. Yeah. So I, I think it's really good practice um, whenever I start a piece or a series um, to gather inspirational stuff. So the, for a night sky, the best thing to do is pack everybody up and go to the North Woods. <laughs> Not practical. <laughs> so next best thing is books. And this book um, is one of my favorites. And it's the cover was also kind of an impetus for this piece. Um, and if you take a look um, at, at some of the pictures that are coming out of the Hubble, it rivals any abstract art that's out there. They're gorgeous. And the intention is not to recreate this exactly and be really tight, but I do think it filters into your subconscious and then it comes out through your work. I agree. So I think it's an important step. Cool, so how do we get started? Let's go, okay. So I'm gonna use the opaque white craft film. And um, one of the things we're gonna use to move around the alcohol is gravity. And so okay. since this is flexible, what I wanna do is I wanna adhere it onto a rigid support, which is some double-sided tape. It's just a temporary thing. And obviously, because it's craft film, it's basically plastic. And right. when you work with alcohol ink, I believe you want something, right? Non-porous gives you some really fun options as far as blending and, and spreading and all that cool. type of good stuff. Yeah. So my goal is to get that kind of gradation from the horizon line where the sun is setting up to that deep, dark black sky. So to do that, I have to work pretty quickly. Alcohol drinks, alcohol inks dry very quickly, so you gotta have everything open, ready to go. Okay. Where I'm gonna start is I'm gonna take the extender. Extender does a couple things. Extender, um, extend your, your inks, obviously, but it also helps things blend and flow. So I'm just squirting it on at random, and then I'm spreading around with my finger, and I'm gonna start with the deepest, darkest part. Up and at I can the top see that you're sky. tilting that board all around I'm as you're moving. I'm trying to spread it around. Yeah, oops, splat a little, that's all right. So I'm just trying to spread it, and I also want it to start to kind of mix and flow together. I can even see some of that alcohol yeah, drying I, already. I it's know, amazing how fast it dries. I know, which is a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you're doing. Well, I assume also if you live in a drier yeah. climate, you're right. going to have less time. Right. If you live somewhere super humid, you're going to have more time. But I see you can so keep I'm putting just, the extender yeah. so on. So I'm going to put the extender on. Oops. Get a cleaner finger there. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna kind of keep working my way down my sky. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Rocking and, and rolling, rockin as and rollin'. they say, That's right. right? Now we're getting into the good stuff. <laughs> we're going magenta. Then well, like it's cool orange. how the colors blend, and yet at the same time, it's not like the black drifts all the way down into the bottom or anything. That's I mean, I'm going side to side, but now. Okay. For now, I'm going to use finger as a tool. Mm -hmm. Get that down. It's the okay. greatest tool you have. You always have it with you. Exactly. All right, and now I'm going to tilt it this way, and everything is just going to kind of run down towards the sunset. I see. And then as soon as it's where you want it, you flatten it out. And then you do, it's real common for some to kind of collect at the bottom, so you can kind of work that out. Otherwise, it might collect, and keep. you can just keep rocking it until it is the way you want it. Super but it cool. But keep, it'll keep flowing, so you just kind of want to keep monitoring and adding. Okay. I'll take that for okay. you. Okay, there you go. So, let that dry. Okay. <laughs> um, I love the idea of silhouettes. So what I did is print out um, just on some um, inkjet clear film on the computer, mm -hmm. um, some pine trees, okay? So I love those silhouettes. And I printed them out and I played around with scale, but this is where they're gonna fit in there. And so I just kinda wanna keep that in mind because I wanna keep that area clear because I want that contrast mm -hmm. between the sky and the trees. And so right now, just to remind me later, I'm gonna take just, um, it's a watercolor marker, and I'm just gonna kinda make um, a couple registration marks just to kind of remind me that's where the edges are. Okay, okay cool. Just, I'll take that, that for you. That will come in handy later. Okay, so now we get into the fun part. We are gonna um, start squirting on some um, art spray. I thought it was pretty fun already. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better than this. Too. Wow. Okay, so I'm using my hand just kind of as a shield, and then I'm gonna a reason drop to wear gloves. In, yeah. And then I'm gonna drop in some of this rainbow, which is an additive that, as you can see, it gets iridescent. And any color Super you add shiny. it to. Yeah. So you're mixing basically an acrylic spray mm -hmm. with an alcohol ink product, mm -hmm. and they're okay being mixed. You don't have to worry about well, it. Well, what they're doing is they're pushing and they're pulling, and you get some really cool effects. And just like out in space, there's a lot of push and pull and contrast and explosions. So this is kind of like oil and water, right? Mm -hmm. They're sort of not, mm -hmm. not wanting to get together that much. Right, right. And so I'm trying to recreate what's happening out in space right here on a little scale. Cool. So, yeah. And since the... Um, it does use some uh, acrylic. It'll take a little bit longer to dry. Okay. So, thank you. We won't wait for paint we won't to wait dry. We're on to the next thing. 
Okay, so um, I, now I, I love what's happening. There's a lot of loose, random explosions, but I wanna get a little bit more specific. So I'm gonna use a white paint pen Shake it well. <laughs> I love using a white pen. I think it just makes everything pop. There's something about yes. that clean, yes. clear color that really makes your eye just go straight to it. And I'm just gonna press it down, make sure we got something flowing. And then you can be really specific if you wanna put in uh, like a certain constellation, you wanna put in the Great Bear, or you just wanna So you go could really make this 100% realistic oh, and be sure. like what your view of the Absolutely. sky is. And then it becomes almost like a personal memory. And then where's my stick? I don't know. Anyhow, use the end of a paintbrush and you could just kind of pull out, because if you look at stars, the light kind of travels out in these rays. And so you can add a little bit more in there. That's cool, and I can actually see in some of your inspiration exactly. photos yeah. exactly where we can see that I star shape really pulling out. Very neat. Now I wanna add a moon in here, okay? Now, it could be a waxing moon, it could be a waning moon, I'm gonna use a, a cotton swab, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out part of it. So oh. it looks like there's just a portion there. So maybe this is So like a little a crescent. Moon. What a clever way yeah. to do a crescent so that you don't have to worry about that shape. Yeah, and a lot of times that is how it looks when it's out there. Absolutely. And partially there and partially not. And you could keep doing that ad nauseum, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> but now we gotta finish it up. So, Let's do it. Okay, so that um, this that we auditioned earlier, we said, okay, we want it right around there. Yeah. What I did is I used the same image, okay. but um, you can print it on an adhesive back clear computer film. So like a sticker. Yeah, yeah, okay. I made a sticker. And the great thing is the rest of it is clear except for where the trees are. So I won't be covering up or losing any of my sky. Okay. So those little registration marks that I made earlier, it's nice. I can kind of line it up on here. And so then I know approximately, I'm gonna make it just a little bit larger because it's easier to trim off than to. Okay, and I assume too by covering up all that alcohol ink and acrylic ink, you're actually kind of saving and preserving it too under yeah. there so nothing can damage it. It's like a protective it. layer on top, yep, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna peel it off, just, which is tricky with gloves. It is, you want me to help you? <laughs> no, oh no, you're okay. okay. I got it. Okay, so I'm gonna use those registration marks and I'm gonna line it up. And then this protective backing mm -hmm. also is nice to protect it when I just, I wanna go ahead and burnish and make sure that that's all. You smooth. wanna make sure there's no Step air down. bubbles, mm -hmm. that you've got everything that smooth it's through there. Good. And it's easier to go center out. And then there we go. So now all we have to Very do is trim cool. up the edges. So. so I can see the finished one is absolutely gorgeous and you've brought some other examples as well that are equally beautiful. And so really, whatever your mood is, whether it's sunset or sunrise or stars, you've got something for us, Cheryl. Yeah.